Misadventures of Cy and Elmer. some real evidence at the scene of the midnight mystery train's ghostly runs. Cy and Elmer, with the sheriff, have waited in vain for another visit of the train. And 12 midnight has come and gone without any disturbance of any kind at the section car. Six men have been spirited away when a train is heard rushing through the narrow cut at midnight, but all evidence has proven that no train could have run on this track. We find the detectives and the sheriff grouped around the foot of a telegraph pole. The sheriff has taken a black box out of a larger box up on the pole. And all three are examining it with interest. It is just after midnight, and cold and dark, near the lonely section camp. Yes, me and Si have seen you take this little phonograph to my dead box up there, Sheriff, but that ain't got nothing to do with the train. Yeah, I should say not. Uh, Elmer's got the little uh, Vic Trolley, too. <laughs> it don't sound like no train. Well, if you old wildcats will just quit fighting and listen to me, I'm going to show you the train you heard come through here every night. Now, wait a minute till I get this phonograph wound up here. Wound up? Who ever heard of winding up a train? Well, you've got to wind the phonograph to make it work, don't you, Si? What's that little record for? Well, keep still till I fix it and I'll show you. Yeah, you ain't never going to get it fixed. Eh? Eh? I'll be jiggered. That sounds like a train, Emmett. Certainly, it sounds like a train, Si, but that ain't loud enough for what we hear. Yeah, it's getting louder, ain't it? Now you boys just hush up for a minute. And I got an idea. You're going to hear your train come through this cut. Yes, sir, and that's just like we heard out here last night, Si. Yeah, but this is just a phonograph record. Yeah, and that train has been that same record every time a man has disappeared. Now, look, that big box up there on that pole was made to put one of them big electric transformers in. Yeah. So our friend of the train just uh, sort of had his phonograph in it. Uh, yeah, but, Sheriff, I don't see how that phonograph record of a train running ever carried off them six fellers. No, sweet Singer a sad song, Sigh. That tree noise never hurt nobody, you yeah. dirty old fool. Yeah, sheriff just said it did. He did not. Yeah, That's so. something else entirely. Yeah. But it, what it did do is to help this criminal fella get him out on the track where he could do something to him. Yeah, but what did happen to them fellas? Well, if you boys will look right close while I turn my flashlight up on that pole again, you're going to see something else. Now, look up there, right up there. Yeah, I'm looking. I can see that big box, all right. Well, we've seen that before. Is it them uh, spikes for climbing the pole on, Sheriff? Yeah. Is that it, Sheriff? No, it ain't the spikes. And it looks like the sheriff here has got better eyes than the two famous detectives. Well, uh, I told you my eyes wasn't so good, Sheriff. Side perkin, shut up. We know you can't see nothing. Oh. Uh, you don't see it, do you? Well, uh, no, not yet, but... Uh, uh, but what? Cy Perkins, if you don't quit asking them silly questions... Oh. Uh, what do you see, then, Henry? Well, I'm sure ashamed of you boys. Now look right at the top of the pole. Yeah. That, uh, that is, well, uh, within about a foot of the top. Right up there now. Now, don't you see nothing fastened on the pole? And uh, how high up is the top? You no, know, how high up is the top? So not anything about it, you darn fool. Yeah, but I can't see nothing but that big box. Well, I can see the top now. Wait a minute, just a minute. Yeah, uh, I got it, I got it. There's a little round thing up there like a wheel. Oh, is that part of the train? No, Sigh, how could it be part of the train when the train's on a phonograph record? Well, yeah, 
some fellas wasn't carried off by no phonograph record. If you boys are through guessing, I'll tell you what's up there and what it's up there for. I wish you would. What is it, Sheriff? Yes. Better tell Sy, Sheriff. Better tell him. He'll never get it figured out for himself. Oh. Uh, do you know what it is, Emma? Certainly I knew it. <laughs> I knew it would have worked for the Sheriff did. I want to see if you could figure it out for yourself. Yeah, now, that's mighty smart of you, Emma. Uh, what is it? Yeah, go right ahead, Elmer. You know, I'm glad you did see it first. Uh, go on, explain to Sy. Yeah, uh, go on, Emma. Well, you see, it's, uh, that is, uh, I, uh, Oh, shucks, Si, it won't look good for me to tell you. Sheriff might get sore for beating to it. Elmer, hey, buddy, you're right just to making that up. You don't know no more what it is than I do. Why, certainly it do, Si. Uh, why, why don't you tell us? I think I'd better take a hand here. We'll be here for a week. <laughs> now, Elmer, you got no more idea than Si. So I'll tell you what it is. Yeah. That thing up there is a pulley. And it's a big, strong one. That pulley is bolted to that pole. And it'll hold up four or five hundred pounds, easy. What good is a pulley way up there? Yes, ain't no rope fastened to it, too, is it? Nah, ain't no good, Sheriff. Yes, it is, sir. <laughs> that pulley is the one thing that is going to solve our case for us. Now, here's my idea of how the crimes were committed. Uh, another idea, Sheriff? Well, this probably be a good one. I hope so. That train must have run past here the first night without hurting nobody. But they all heard it and got mighty curious. Yeah. Then the next night, when they heard the train coming... Probably one of those Mexican boys in the section car got real kind of brave, you know. Went out to see what it was all about. Yeah, and that fella never come back. Yes, and finally six men disappeared on six nights. How was it all done, Sheriff? Well, of course, it's foolish to say exactly how any crime was committed, but, well, I'm pretty sure of this one. Now, there must have been a man up on that platform to start that phonograph record at just the right time. Uh, who was the fellow, Sheriff? Well, I don't know, sir, who it was, but, well, a buddy had a long rope. Probably two lariats spliced together. And a loop in the end, just the same as if he would use for rope and cattle, you know. Uh-huh. And he slung this rope uh, over the feller on the track. Uh-huh. And hold him up there in the platform. Uh, yes, sir. And then... Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on, boys. I want to ask you something. Did either one of you ever try standing up on a little platform, just two feet square and 25 feet from the ground, and then try a lasso and a full-grown man and pulling him up there with you, did you? Well, uh, now, uh, I remember once... Oh, shut up, Si. Shut up. You can't remember nothing. Oh. Well, it's more don't try to tell us nothing about how good you can throw a rope, neither. He couldn't catch a pig in a shoot. Well, the uh, sheriff says this fellow did it. Yeah, he did that all right. But how did he get him up on top of that bank and get down with him there so quick? Yeah, maybe he didn't. Certainly he did, Si. Si. Uh. Remember that picture we got with the flashlight? They showed two fillies right on the edge of that bank. You remember that, don't yeah, you? I remember that. Certainly. And that picture was only a few seconds after the one that showed Pat down there on the track. Uh, that fella must have hauled him up pretty quick, then. Yeah, he sure did, but he wasn't on the platform. Now, my idea is that the rope was run through the pulley. And when the man was lassoed, the fellow on the platform jumped off, likely with a weight tied to him to help him. Uh, how did it happen then? Well, Si, what do you suppose it happened? Well, if a fella jumped off of that platform with a big weight tied to him, I reckon he'd hit the ground pretty hard. Certainly he would, but that ain't the idea. Oh. I asked fella that he lassoed would be coming up while he was going down, you know? Oh, kind of like elevators. Certainly. Uh. And the fella doing the mean work just grabbed him and held him, asshole. Say, that's an awful wild act in it. Yeah, about the wildest I ever heard, but that's the answer. The phonograph record was started when the train noise are coming. Uh. Then the rope was dropped. The man on the platform jumped off, and as the other man swung up through the air, he was caught at the top of this bag and bound and gagged. Do you reckon all them fellas is dead, Sheriff? <laughs> Say, if a fella dropped the rope over your neck, Cy Perkins, and yank you up the top of 20-foot bank, how'd you feel? Well, I know, Elmer, but uh, Pat screamed when he was way up in the air. I'm not so sure of that. Now, whoever this criminal is, he must be mad to think of an insane scheme like this. But I doubt if he's got murder on his hands. I don't see how he could help a killing him, fella. Hold on, Si. Hold on, wait a minute. I got an idea. Yeah, it's about time. Say, what, what, what? Were you little weasel? He was set for an hour and a half and let the sheriff and me do all the working and the thinking, and, and now you tell me it's about time I got an idea. Why, for well, heaven's sake. you're I... always saying that you're the smartest. Now get going with your smartness and do something. Yes, and I'm a going to do something. Yeah, well, do and it. And if you start that bellering just once more at Si Perkins, I'm going to do it to you, do you hear me? Yeah. Now, here's my idea. Shut up, Si. I didn't say nothing. Well, you were scolded to. That's just bad. Uh, now, uh, Sheriff, I figured that them near fitters are just spirit ain't dead. And uh, how do you figure that, Elmer? That's what I'd like to know, Elmer. The sheriff of this county, it's been my unpleasant duty to see a few men at the end of a rope. And none of them ever felt uh, very good after it was all over. Well, uh, 
Elmer ain't got no real ID call, Sheriff. He's just a talking. Uh, say, Sheriff, take a little walk or something, will you? I mean, just sort of take a little walk. I don't want you to see what's going to happen to Si. Oh, skip it. You want to hit me with Elmer? Si, Perkins, if you open your mouth just once more, I'm going to have to. Uh, now, Sheriff. Remember that picture where Pat was up in the air? You know, just a little ways up off the track? Yeah, I got the picture, sir. Right here. Here they are. Well, now, wait a minute. Wait till you get my flashlight on again, Cy. Si. Uh-huh. There we are. Now, wait now, wait a minute. Let's see, Elma. Uh, what picture is it now? Uh, there it is, Sheriff. It's right there. Cy si Perkins, didn't I tell you to shut up? That's the picture, Sheriff. Now, look at it closely. Look. Uh, you can see uh, Pat in that picture, all right. And uh, he's just up in the air a little way to, uh, like Elmer... Uh, Elmer, hey, Elmer. What's the matter? Elmer, Sheriff, I heard something. Oh, you heard something. You never heard nothing. Now, look at the picture there, Sheriff. Now. Hey, Elmer, I tell you that I heard something. So oh, you've been around this track so long, you're getting a habit. Habit of what? Well, just the habit of hearing things. Uh, you're just nervous, that's so. No, I'm nervous, nothing. Uh, well, you fellas listen. Sheriff, Sheriff, size right. That's again. That's it again, Sheriff. That train is coming again. And what is this new mystery? Has the midnight train made another run in spite of the sheriff and the detectives? Your announcer will tell you when you may hear another episode of Cy and Elmer over this station.